If you are thinking about adding a ChatGPT onto your website, you don't want to miss this. Hey everyone, I'm James. Today, I wanted to show you a quick tutorial on how to create your own ChatGPT, the one that is tailored to yourself or your business. And by that, it means that the ChatGPT is not generic, but specially trained and learned from information of the knowledge you've provided. And then I will show you quickly how to put it onto any website as a chat widget. It'll only take a few minutes without writing a single line of code. So let's jump straight into it. So to start off, you'll need to log into the Agent X website at agentx.so. If you don't have an account already, just go ahead and register for one. It's absolutely free. Um, once you sign in, you'll see a screen that looks a bit like this one. Now let's go ahead here and click here, the new button and select create agent. There we go. Um, I'm going to call her Krista. Okay. Let's, right, let's get a portrait for Krista. See here, you can just generate one by clicking this button. There we go, looking nice. Uh, here I'm going to choose GPT-40 Mini as the LLM engine. Um, you can choose the other ones if you like, but it's completely up to you. I'm going to set the creativity level here to balanced. Cool, lovely. Now we're gonna go down just to writing prompts. Essentially in this section, it's just about defining your character and making sure the agent represents you the way you want them to. So I'm just gonna put here, you are a car sales agent. You are friendly and dedicated to answer questions about business of Stevens Creek dealership. Cool, there we go. And in the response function, I'm just gonna put, use a lot of emojis, make it fun. Um, all right, now let's move on to the knowledge section. So I'm going to add a local dealership's website um, to the, as a knowledge base for Krista so she can learn from that. But you can choose to upload documents if you like as knowledge as well. So click sublinks, copy and paste the website here and then click add link, there we go. Right, now we've got a bunch of links from the website. Um, th let's go ahead and click create agent. Now it might take a minute or two, depending on how many knowledges you've provided for the agent to learn from, but trust me, it's worth it. Here we go, our first AI sales agent, Krista, has been born. See, here we can test it directly at chat preview. Let's ask, um, let's see. I am looking for used cars that is within five years old. Go. It actually responds with cars and it even has a photo. Pretty neat, yeah, I like that. <laughs> okay, now let's move on to deploy Krista onto our website so other people can talk to her as well. Um, click the deploy there button, uh, flip on website embedding. You can also, also choose Discord or Slack if you prefer. And here you can modify the styles of the widget if you, if you wish, but I'm just gonna leave it there as default. Uh, now we have the code snippet and let's copy that. Right, now we need to go and put the code snippet onto a website. You can scroll down to the bottom of the body section, say in this example, this is just a dummy website I'm using to show you, but just scroll down and we can paste it in there. And there we have it. We've got our Krista AI agent on board to the website within just a few minutes. Now, you can ask it any specific questions you want. Now, this tutorial just scratches the surface of what is possible, the things you can do with Agent X. We will introduce more functionalities like automatic lead generation, Google Drive integration. You can even create mid-journey-like Discord bot with Agent X too. That's all for the video. Really appreciate you spending the time to watch it and I'll see you soon in the next one. Thanks guys.